Can a seller back out of a transaction? Very important question. Very rarely we see it here in the Silicon Valley, but let's deal with the question. Hi, I'm Amol Heda with Keller Williams Bay Estates and author of Thriving Thrownership. Can a seller back out of a contract, ratified contract that has been signed with the buyer? The answer is yes. But like I always say, there is a long answer to every short question that you see. And can a seller back out of a transaction? Absolutely yes. But it has legal consequences and the seller may lose money. So when a property, when a listing agreement is signed with the listing agent, the seller generally signs a contract where the listing agent has to be paid a commission and the buyer's agent has to be paid a commission. And when the buyer writes an offer, the buyer has, brings in a deposit. So the buyer is stuck for the deposit. If the buyer backs out, the buyer loses deposit. But when the seller backs out, you might think, I don't have a deposit. I just want to get out of contract. I don't want to like this buyer. Absolutely not. If the buyer has stuck their deposit in, the buyer can first thing ask and sue for specific performance. So there is a lot of legal effects or legal issues that you are going to see when this kind of a buy, seller wanting to back out of the transaction. So the buyer can sue for specific performance, meaning asking the seller to close even if the seller does not want to close. That's number one. Number two, even if they do agree, uh, I mean, there could be a place where the buyer and the seller are mutually agreeing to just let each other go and then that's perfectly fine. But the third scenario where the buyer just wants the property or wants to recoup all the damages that have happened because the seller did not perform. So this is seller's non-performance. Not that the buyer's contingent buyer did not work out or anything. So if while listing the property, the seller specified that the property will not be sold unless they find a replacement property. If they had that contingency in place, then the buyer would not have an action unless the seller didn't find a property. If the seller found a property and then they want to back out, there will again be a legal issue. But if there are no such contingencies in the listing agreement, seller cannot back out without legal consequences, financial damages and will need to sell. So there has been an instance when I was helping one of my buyer clients and the seller wanted to back out. And I told my client, I said, you gave 3% deposit, ask them for that. And now that you have to go and buy your next property and if the market is the market was appreciating then my buyer worked with their attorney to go against the seller and collected the not just the 3% deposit but additional costs because the market was appreciating and they would have to buy the same property at a higher price now. So essentially the seller lost way more in that case. I was representing one of my clients, had a listing and we had no contingency and my client decided to back off. And after that, the seller, buyer's agent started pushing it for arbitration and ultimately my clients decided to sell the property and close the transaction and move on. But this causes a lot of stress, distress and issues when you are into such transaction. So always remember to have the right clauses so 
work with the right agent who will give you the best advice in all cases even those that you don't foresee i hope this was helpful please like subscribe and share with your friends who need it thanks for watching see you on my next one bye